Hey y'all, this is Marie from our OK Homestead. So I've been using the pole saw, working on that. Fixing to trim these crepe myrtles that's here by the house. Uh, they're kind of unruly, growed up. Crepe myrtles do better uh, blooming if you trim them back every year. And these have missed a few years. I'm gonna reverse this so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Uh, most especially because this one has got some of these vines all growed up in it. And it almost makes it look like there's a whole other tree inside this bush. Because like I said, this has been... I might have to cut this one way back. save that one for last because that's going to be a nightmare but this one is getting vines growing up in it too this one's not quite as bad this one actually got run over at one point you know i got that pole saw and i had made that comment about wanting the bigger saw with the uh 16 inch bar Ta -da -ta -da bigger saw so i'm gonna use it on the crepe myrtles we'll see how that goes another beautiful day though i tell you so it's a great day to be doing this well y'all i didn't have a knife but it did have a hatchet so it worked so y'all So now I'll have another double charger too. It's nitro. So apparently they named this saw nitro. Wow, that is a heavier battery. Holy moly. That's what he's talking about. How to position your cuts on your trees. So they give you a little bit of stuff on that. Me, Messy Marie. Definitely need to tighten the chain. This is just like the other one where this flips up. And you just turn it to open. Look at that. I ended up with a helper. <laughs> Ashlyn came to visit. And she just jumped right in and starts helping. All right, y'all. My batteries are charged. I've been cutting away. I'll show y'all what we've got done so far. I have found a new love. Yes, 16 inch bar chainsaw from Works because my gosh, it is chewing through this like nothing.
cleaned up. Crepe myrtles. I have to show y'all, for anybody that is not really aware of crepe myrtles, um, this part of the country, they grow great. They're very hardy, they're drought tolerant. Uh, you've seen what kind of mess they were. Trimming them back like this is actually the best thing you can do for them because they'll come back. They only bloom on the new growth. I'm gonna have to come in. I've got some of this vine cut back in there, but I'm gonna have to come in with my little saw, I think, and trim it out a little bit better and try to get most of that vine out of there. Try to save it from killing the tree. Well, y'all, me and Ash did it. We sure did. We got all of it up. <laughs> we got them trimmed up and all that mess picked up and hauled to the burn pile. And now we're wrapping it up and we're going to take a short break. So have a good day. Have a wonderful day. There you go. We'll say bye. <laughs> Y'all have a good one.